Hey guys, this is Alpha. We're going to be showing you guys how to make this troll program. Right here, world's hardest game. This is its disguise. Right here, we made it look like this. And then, so you can tell your friend that you just made an awesome video game. That you want him to play it. So, he's going to sit down all comfortable. He's going to click begin. And then, once you click it, you're going to see the screamer. So here it is. The hell? Because I'm recording with fraps. But that's perfectly fine. So let's get to it. So let's make a new project. Let's wait for this a little bit. You're going to need to go to Visual Basic, Windows Form Application, name it to whatever. I'll just put Screamer for right now. And then click OK. So it's going to build our project here. So once we're here, the only thing that you're going to need is one button. And then come to Properties name it to a good game some sort of cool name that you could trick someone with so we'll just put name that'll change the name up here you could change a bunch of other stuff like no icon stuff like that which is perfectly fine you're gonna wanna make your button bigger not just the regular one and then you're gonna wanna add uh... what's it called going to want to add a uh, background to this I forgot how to do it let me let me figure this stuff out real quick so right here background image click this import an image um, I don't know something like that some picture better than this that's for sure and then once you got this all good looks good Take off the icon or add a cool icon, whatever. Have your own theme. Make sure that you have a background and have one button. Rename the button to whatever you like. To like um, start or begin, something like that. And then you're gonna want to change the size, bold, to something big like this, so it stands out, looks pretty good. Then, then, then we're gonna get to the coding part. Oh wait up! No, we don't. We have to add a web browser. Make it fill up this whole thing, and then now we are going to double click on the button, come back over here, fix the web browser, so it takes up the whole application like that, and then come back to the code. And now we're going to start. Oh, wait up. And double click the form. So right here we're going to we're going to put open. No. We're going to put browser. Brow web browser dot one. Web browser one dot hide. So it'll start hidden. And then we're going to need to put. Then we're going to need to go to button one. And put web browser. Uh, damn, I can't type. Web browser one dot show. And then after that, we're going to need to do web browser dot navigate. Navigate. And then you're going to want to put your website screamer. So right now I'm going to give you guys a chance to catch up and I'll be back once I find a Screamer website. We are back. Alright guys, we are back. I have found a Screamer website. Works pretty good but it has ads which could ruin it. So maybe you guys can make your own, find another one. But here's the one I'm going to use. I found it online. It's HTTP. Um, this thingy semicolon slash slash aak dot li slash pics slash a and e dot jpg. 
So it's hidden inside a JPEG. So if you want to just give it to someone through Skype, TeamSpeak 3, whatever, it wor it's pretty good. And now we're just going to click Start. Program's gonna start up as you can see. You're gonna see the background, whatever background you put, the title, and icon if you have one, if you don't. And then when they click start, it's gonna navigate to the screen. And then, of course, you can make it better by resizing form one in the browser, stuff like that. Make it, make it better, make some improvements. And that is all. See you guys in the next tutorial. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.